Right, we're starting off with a par three here at Royal Ascot Golf Club. Let's see what we can do. Should be all right. Yeah, we're dancing. Welcome back to another episode of Every Shot of a Nine Handicappers Round. We're here at Royal Ascot Golf Club. Today we are with a couple of viewers actually. We've got Mikey, we've got James, we've got Ben. And um, yeah, they've invited me down for the day. We've obviously teed off and we've got some beers on the line and every single person has just hit the green. They said they were 20 handicappers before they started, but they didn't want to play. They want to play off scratch. Doesn't really compute with me, I won't lie. So um, yeah, maybe we can make a putt here. Let's see how we get on. Nine strokes isn't a lot. Um, I've, I was literally in Portugal two days ago, enjoying the sun, sunglasses on, and a, you know, a pair of shorts, and now I'm in the, the stinking rain. But I want to keep this channel relatable. Uh, you guys, or the most of you guys that watch this channel are from England, so you know the grind. When it comes to winter, you've got to get out. You've got to get, that, you've got to get the reps in, really. Um, and then you can benefit during the summer. So let's see how we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. All right, I got 27 foot here. Yeah, that's pretty good. It'll be a tap in. I appreciate you giving me that one. Thank you, boys. All right, not bad. Past start. We've had triple bogeys in the past, so we'll take it. The second hole here at Royal Ascot is a par five. It's SI6 and it's 504 yards. I'll do. Par five. Got a lay up here, got a big bunker that's about 50 yards short of the green, so gonna lay up in front of that. That should be absolutely fine there. I think it's in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, all good. Quite quite short, but it's all right. All right, so this course is a par 70, so my plan today is to try and break 80. Uh, something I've only done maybe three times in my entire life, so why not try and do it? For a video today and um, if this goes well and i get slightly better over the next couple of months then i feel like maybe making it a staple of the channel trying to break 80 on a regular basis would be really good let me know what you think down in the comment section guys and of course if you want to get me out to your course as prime example with the boys here today uh, then feel free to drop me a message on instagram or tiktok or something like that and we'll get it set up and uh, we'll get a good round in okay we've got 104 yards into this pin um downwind i'm gonna hit a gap wedger That's it. That's it. Yep, we're putting. Good stuff. All right, I got 18 foot for a bird here. Let's see if we can roll it. That is such a bad pull. Holy smokes. <laughs> what a awful putt. All right, added pressure, not only for the video, but I've got to make it so that we don't go one down in the match. There you go. Oh. Happy days. Currently level through two. Don't know what's going on. Feeling pretty good right now. Hole number three is a 349 yard par four. It's the dog leg to the left and it's SI8. A little carry across a, a bit of a creek here on this hole. Wind's off the left. I knew that was going right. Down the bunkers. Bunker. Looks like a bunker. Yeah, sadly we found the bunkers. Fortunately it's a bit wet so they're quite hard. Um, Gonna hit an eight iron here. Pins at the front, it's about 130 away, five away. We're into wind, probably gonna lose some distance coming out of the bunker as well. So, just gonna club up. Really just try and make sure we get there. Oh, well that's not very good. It's like I've splashed it out, like I was greenside, but at least we're out on the fairway. Okay, um, got about 88 in here. Gonna just air it on the right hand side of the flag. Oh, I finned it. Sit! That's got to go so far out the back. Sit! Oh, okay, we're all right. We're all right, fin to win, eh? Feels like the, uh, the good start for everyone has started to fall apart as we've all made pretty poor attempts on this hole. All right, so we have got 66 foot here for par. A two putt would be blessed, I won't lie. Play down now. Oh, oh, okay, it's nervy, nervy length that one. All right, bogey putt. Let's not let this get out of hand. 
Oh, that's only just trickled in. All right, it's not too bad. Yeah, after that bunker shot, damage limitation was definitely the order of the day. And uh, we've kind of done that after a terrible wedge into the green, but we take it and move. Hole number four is one of the easiest on the course. It's 307 yards long and it's a par four. All right, okay, uh, gonna be hitting a five iron. It's not a long hole, it's downwind. There's a bunker just in carry range for uh, my three wood. So just gonna hit the five iron up here. Hopefully it's not flirting with the out of bounds now that I've hit five iron. No, I think we're safe, yeah. I mean, I've never played the hole before or this course before, but it's safe, it's yes. good. <laughs> got about 120 in here, just coming out the rough slightly. I've got a gap wedge in hand. That's a pretty good strike. It's miles right of the ping, but that's fine. Oh, it's just short. It's just crept onto the front edge, so I was kind of between two clubs there. I could have even hit a pitching wedge, which would have gone long or I can try and force the 50 there. And I think since I don't know what's out the back, probably hitting the 50 is the play, just so that it comes up short. So I hope you're enjoying the content, guys. We've had a right mixed bag, some sunny rounds in Spain, Portugal, back into the wind, wet rain here in England. Hopefully it's gonna clear up soon. Just wanna say a big thank you to all of you for like watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that jazz. We're kind of trying to build a community here of like-minded golfers, just, you know, your average Joes going out, playing some golf, having some fun. Because golf really is a great sport. It's just like so much fun. So I wanna hear about your stories. Let me know what you're getting up to, how your golf games go in, where do you play, all of that sort of stuff. If you've got any holidays, booked playing golf let me know down in the comment section because i'm getting back to everyone i clear out all the unanswered comments probably once an hour so you'll get a reply from me pretty quick one two three four five fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty all right we've got a really scary one we're uh, 60 foot away from the pin here and um yeah i'm not gonna lie it breaks a hell of a lot to the left Oh, I think I've not caught that very well. Just go, get on your bike and go, ball. Oi. All right, left myself with a 10 foot for par here. Not particularly good, but give it a good roll. Oh, kind of hit something and bobbled, but it's all right. That's a five for me. Mm, maybe in hindsight, I should be taking more club than less. Hole number five is a par five that dog legs to the left first and then back to the right after. It's SI4 and it's 488 yards. Right, interesting one here. Just gonna try and spank it up towards the bunker up there. Should be good. Yep, that one's in the fairway, like that. I'm gonna be laying up here. There's a bunker there at 180, so I'm gonna hit a seven eye straight at it. Just keep it down the fairway. Oh, that's a little left. Should be all right. Yeah, absolutely fine there. Probably have about 140 in or something. Okay, uh, flag's about 150 yards away. Uh, gonna hit an eight iron at this one. Still is, unbelievably, taking place here in the UK, even though it's now May. Um, when will the rain stop? No one knows. Oh, I've caught that so thin. Maybe I'll get lucky. I was kind of running up there. Oh, is there a bunker? Oh, there's a bunker there. Oops. All right, not ideal, guys. Bunker's very wet, um, right up against the edge. Not really any chance I can splash it. Yeah, that'll work. All right, decent, like that. Oh, I just missed. All right, okay, that's gonna be a bogey. There we go, that is a six. We need to get off the bogey train, that's for sure. A manageable par three here. It's 164 yards long and it's SI 14. All right, okay. Par three, about 144 yards it's playing, but I think wind's kind of into face, so I'm just gonna try and make it on the green with an eight. That is so fat. Go over the water. We're just over, oh my Lord, what a terrible golf shot. Okay, yeah, got about 67 yards here. Terrible, terrible tee shot. Looks pretty good. Yeah, we're putting. That's all we can really hope for there. All right, okay, we've got about 30 foot here for the par. Something that we ain't seen in a while. Oh! 
Oh, let's go. Bam. Far save of the day. We like to see that, a 30 footer. Stop the bleeding, I've got to say. <laughs> Next up is the second hardest on the course. It's a par four and it's 374 yards long. So I've been told that there's a hazard at like 200 yards. So driver isn't necessarily the play, but is the play I'm going to go with, so. Just got to stay safe in here. It's just turning left. Should be, all, is that all right? All right, well, it's red stakes. So maybe we're taking a penalty, maybe we're not. So you can probably tell I haven't been hitting driver much recently. Uh, kind of going for a swing change, use, half using it today, half using the old swing, which uh, is having mixed effects, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it just seems to be going all right. Um, but yeah, I haven't been hitting driver because I've got a big case to the left. So I've got lucky here um, because this stuff here is actually all uh, nature preserve or environmentally sensitive area. So you're not allowed to even walk in there to get your ball, even if it's right on the edge. Um, so everyone here carries a, uh, a ball scoop to get them out, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Um, we are all right, we're just in the rough on the uh, left-hand side of the fairway here. Let's have a look how far we got. We got that uh, same thing as last time, where it's like I've got 120, so I could either hit the gap wedge and come up short, or I can hit the pitching wedge and go long. Um, and we're gonna learn from what we uh, said last time, so we're gonna hit the pitching wedge. That should be safe. Should be right in the middle, I think. Yeah, thank God I took the pitching wedge, because that's still come up short. All right, uh, so got a 39 footer, but I'm putting along a shelf, so it's all pushing it left. Um, it's a little bit downhill as well, so I'm a little bit nervous about this putt. If it turns back in, that'll be unreal. Oh my God, double breaker, go in. Oh, <laughs> that is what? Uh, that is 70 foot worth of putts in the last two greens. What a birdie, we love that. I hope that picked up on camera. It, genuinely, you don't see many double breakers, but that one was like coming left the whole way. I, to be fair, I didn't read that it. it was going to turn back right, so it's just pure luck, but yeah, we'll take those. <laughs> right, so um, obviously we picked up a lab putter a couple of weeks ago, and the first round of play with it on camera was not particularly good. We said we'd give it a couple of weeks before we started analysing and assessing whether it's any good, because I need to get used to it. And I've got to say, this is the best putter I've ever used. They are pricey but they are something else. And I'm not just saying that because I've just made two massive putts. Genuinely, my putting has been on absolute fire ever since I would like literally just before I went away to Spain. So like three, four weeks ago. So yeah, cheers, cheers lab for the hookup. We love it. We're on to the easiest hole on the course. It's a par three and it's 124 yards long. All right, uh, 120 to the flag. It's at the back. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge because I feel like I might have lost yards and yards of distance. Like. <laughs> over the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I just got to hit more club, really. Oh, that is so right. Oh my God. And it's in the bunker as well. That's a bit of a disaster. <laughs> yeah, I think I just tried to swing hard at that. Am I in the bunker? Have I gone over it? I might have gone over it. Oh no, I'm in it. Oh, I'm right on the back lip. Good. Fantastic. We have got a swing. That's the main thing. Ball's off a down lie. So, that is so bad, Tom. I decelled like crazy on that one. All right, give that another go, eh? Yeah, that'll do. We've got a chance of getting a bogey here. That's all we can really ask after that. All right, big save here. We can make this one. And we have, all right, nice. Oh, number nine is a par four. It's SI 12 and it's 373 yards long. All right, three woods back out. <laughs> Driver's been packed away for the foreseeable future again. Poor thing. Um, there is a bunker that I don't really want to go in. Name of the big green tree. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna have to try and carry the bunker, aren't we? That looks like it might have gone straight in. I am loving the bunkers right now, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna splash it out because I don't think I can get over this lip with like the club that I need. So I'm just gonna splash it out. I'll do. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna go for a wild prediction and say I'm gonna get up and down from here, just because of how hot the putter is at the moment. Got 122 to the pin. Got a nine iron in hand. Oh, I'm not gonna get up down if I'm not on the blooming green. At least I'm not in the bunker. That's all I can say, at least I'm not in the bunker. Okay, I'm not sure what we're doing here. 
just a little, just a little, kind of like just going to stab it a little bit, I think. Just get it rolling towards the hole. Come around. Yeah, we might have just about saved ourselves there. Um, not a particularly good hole, but we've made the best out of a bad sitch. Okay, it's going to be another bogey. Okay, feeling pretty good right now. Um, currently, we are four over. It's par 35 front and it's par 35 back. So um, that puts us at 39 for the front, which is good. Um, so do that again on the back and we're good. We've got five shots to play with. Um, let's see what we can do. Hole 10 is a dog leg to the left. It's SI4 and it's 363 yards long. Right, we're going to hit one over the trees here, I think. Just about. Three wood. Oh, I've hit that fat, but that should work. <laughs> so I think it's over the hazard just. All right, we've got 165 yards in here. We've got a six iron in hand coming out of the rough. Um, so rather go long than short. There's a bunker at the front, which I'm really hoping to avoid. Oh, I've hit it. Oh, that might really work or it might go really wrong. Really wrong, just in the bunker again. Ha, club turned in my hands there. Love a short-sided wet bunker shot, you know. All right, so this is Mikey, who's kindly got us on to yep. Royal Ascot today. You are a member, Danny, aren't you? Yeah, two years. Uh, what are you playing off at the moment? Uh, about 20, 25. And how long have you been watching, what are you watching, Absolute Bandits? Yeah, yeah. Absolute Bandits. Yep. And also, even OG enough to watch some of the FIFA content um, as well. Yeah, yeah, it's been a couple of years at least. I mean, what, what's your favourite series from OG Cap Gun Tom? OG, it's got to be the team takedown. You like the team yeah, takedown? I do, yeah. Well. I'm guessing it's not, just, it's not just FIFA, is it? No, it's not because no one likes FIFA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'd much rather be out on the golf course. Yeah, exactly, yeah, we'd much rather this, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, another bunker shot here. Uh, absolutely loving them today. Just do the same as we've done every other time. Just make sure it comes out, really. Oh, I've clipped it. Sit. It's not awful. I got a little bit lucky, that sort of thing can end up having the ball fly like 30 yards out the back, but I kind of just clipped the ball before the sand. All right, 24 foot of par. Having to rely on the putter quite a lot today. There's always a chance though, isn't there? Oh, not bad. Just tap that one in. Oh, but. Just tap it in. <laughs> Next up, we have 166 yard par three. It's SI7. Got a par three here. Um, the pin is back left behind a bunker. So no doubt I've been it short into it. Um, but the plan is to just go middle with a six iron. Oh, fucking hell. I spoke that one into existence, didn't I? All right, well, not ideal. All right, not ideal. We've now got 55 yards in on this one. It's gonna have to jump hard. Run, 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 run. Looks all right from here, but I reckon it's still about 15 foot short. One, two, three, four. 15 foot. Now, I thought it was gonna turn right, but I've just watched it turn left. I think I've left it short. Ah, oh, that's annoying, because it was the line as well. All right, that is going to be a bogey for me. Here is the hardest hole on the course. A daunting tee shot is a dog leg to the right, 377 yard long, par four. Not going to lie, this is definitely one of the most scary tee shots I've ever seen. Like, I can't, it's SI1 this hole, dog legs to the right. It's out of bounds straight up the middle. So if you hit it like straight down by accident, you're going out of bounds. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and take it up and over the over the edge of the tree, I guess. Which um, doesn't sound great to me, I won't lie, but we'll give it a go anyway. Oh my god, I have threaded it through about three inches of that tree. That is a hundred percent, ninety percent air tree there. That is that fucking mental, honestly. I don't know if you saw it, but it went through like a gap. It went through a gap like that big. Uh, I've got 115 to the pin, to the front, want to go long. Don't want to go in a bunker, basically. Uh, got a pitching wedge, so I should go past it. That could be good. 
appeared too well. Really well. No, I can't complain about that. All right, uh, got a 55 footer here for birdie. I think I've hit that too hard. I don't know, it's not too bad. Oh, wow, it's run on quite a bit. Left myself with a meaty putt here. My first really bad part of the day, that one. Oh, saves the par. Not bad. We'll take that, especially for stroke index one. Next up, we have a 170 yard par three and it's SI 17. Are we good? Sure. Wow. Okay. Kind of yanked it a little bit. All right, another, another testy par part. It's gonna break just a little bit. Oh, I just didn't hit it. Fair enough, it's a bogey. Oh dear. Hole number 14 is a par four. It's 417 yards long and it's SI5. Right, okay, we've got a par four here. Pretty tricky one, quite long. Gonna aim it straight at the trees up the end of the fairway there. Dog legs around to the right. Well, that might have to get lucky. I've got no idea what's over there. I see it bouncing, a bit alive. Okay, pin is at the back here. Uh, it's like 220 after kind of fatting it off the tee. Um, I've got three wood in hand. Um, just going to swing really smooth at this one because all I want is contact. Don't need to try and muller it. Oh my God. That is dead. That is fully dead. There's no way I find that one. All right, we've reloaded guys. There is zero chance I'll be finding that ball. That is so annoying. All right, once again. That's much better. Why don't I do that the first time? Oh no. Oh, it's bounced over the bumps. Oh, I might be out the back. I ain't got a clue. Oh, I'm, uh, <laughs> who knows? I'm interested to see myself back on the camera for that shot where I've just hit it over to the right. I feel like I was aimed there um, because it came out dead that way. Very rarely happens with Freewood for me, so. I'm thinking that's a big error on my part, which is a shame uh, because I feel like that might have just killed our chances of, well, breaking 80. All right, we've got development here. I was not aware that it's actually red stakes over to the right here. So we get to dry drop on the line of entry. Um, we don't have to play that provisional, I guess we call it, from back there. Um, and we're going to be hitting on for one, two. So this will be our fourth shot. Little drop. All right, we've got 62 yards here. We need to get up and down really, really badly. Sit. Oh, I took a good hop. Sit, sit. Oh, it's rolled off the back edge. I just needed to leave it, not do that. 21 foot, kind of downhill, through the fringe. For a bogey, I think this one is. Gonna have to travel. Ah, uh, a double bogey free round is dead. That's so sad. Oh my god. Made a triple. That is so poor. Alright, fair enough. Alright guys, it is England, so unfortunately, instead of walking onto the 15th tee box right now, I'm walking onto the fifth tee box because holes 15 and 16, so this hole in the next are closed so what i've done is when i played the fifth hole earlier on in the video i've hit another ball which is a yellow ball and uh, that's the one i'm going to be playing for the second attempt so we do get the full par 70 experience but unfortunately the, those two holes are closed so we just can't play them that's part of british weather you just you just know it come on bring on the summer already we're, we're, we're sick of this uh, it's drawing around the corner a little bit yeah, okay. I mean, take a big hop to the left, but I'm sure it'll be okay. It's like a fucking carbon copy of the first hole. Literally just laying up by that bunker on the left. Oh, I've caught that little fat. It should work. We'll have an approach in. Just skip the rough. Jump out. All right, we're in the rough. Coming out the rough here. Uh, 
eight iron again on this hole. Um, not a perfect lie, but we can make it work. Going to aim left of the pin though. Oh, that is right. I've caught it well. Oh dear, that's a that's a dodgy spot, I believe. All right, well, not really sure what's happened there. We all just spent a minute looking for this ball, but it's just completely disappeared. Um, didn't even think it was that bad. Thought it was just going to be literally just here, but apparently not. So um, it's red stake back there. So I will be taking a lateral drop here. Um, try and get up and down, hey? Yeah, that'll do. Pretty good. Got a chance of making it for a bogey. All right, rolled a bogey, so that's good. Bit of a save there. Okay, guys, um, so we're back here two holes later, again on the 14th, because obviously the 16th is closed. So this is the closest kind of hole I could find in terms of like difficulty and length, so. That's all right, I got a face full of mud. Bill play, that's good. Right, okay, we've got a long way in here, guys. There is a tree in front of me. I'll have to take like a nine iron or something to get to get it round or over the tree. So instead, I'm going to take hybrid, which seems like the worst idea in the world. I'm going to try and hit a big cut round the tree. That has gone dead left. All right, we're under a tree and we might be really, really bad now. Oh dear, right, we're in a bad spot here. I'm not even sure I can get this ball to go from here. That is plugged. The ball is actually plugged. All right, okay. We get at least at least we get that like minimal amount of relief there. All right, this isn't ideal because we've got to kind of hook it round. Uh, I've got a pitching wedge and I'm going to chip it because I don't think hitting this full is a good idea. All right, that should work. Just get on the green. Give me a putt. Yeah, that's worked really well. That's rolling on. So maybe we can get a bogey. All right, okay. Um, the putter needs to be hot here if we're going to get out of here. We're in a bit of a bit of a sticky sitch at the moment. 39 foot to the pin. Oh, I think that's going to be so low. Fucking hell, that's going to be a monster putt for bogey. Salvaging a bogey would be really good news. I'm not sure if it's possible, but I'll give it a whirl. All right, that one's in. That's good, that's a bogey there. Hole 17 is a par three, it's 176 yards long and it's SI 13. Okay, so sadly, I think the mission's dead. Uh, we're now plus 12, so we need to go um, hole in one, birdie, uh, finish. Uh, but we are back on the regular course now. That's so bad. My game has fallen apart this last like four holes. All right, up and down. Got 45 yards here. Just going to try and get it on the dance floor, aiming left of the flag. That's not very good, it's pretty short. I've kind of, I don't want to say I've checked out of the round, but now the target is done, I'm, I kind of have. But that's something I've really got to work on because that's not a good way to look at this sort of sport. All right, we've got 39 foot here for par. It's not a very good part. I mean, it's, the weight was good, but the actual stroke itself was crap. Let's just try and get back, get back in the right headspace here. Yeah, round's gone so south so quickly. Holy smokes. All right, that's another double. And to finish off the round, we have a par five. It's 442 yards long, should be quite scorable, and it's SI9. Let's try and finish strong, eh? Um, got driver out, hoping to leave myself like an easy shot in to get there in two on this par five. Um, gonna try, kind of like, kind of tr cut it off that tree, the little one. No, it's not very good. That's why I don't hit driver, because they all go left. Clip the tree. Came back down, yeah, it's all right. It came out, hit the tree, came down. All right, guys, end of the round. You've got to give me the ratings. What we say, and off the tee, I am play, short game, and then putting. Score me out of 10 on each of those categories. Let's see if we're improving or if we're getting worse. All right, well, no point laying up at this point. There is a pond right next to the flag, so let's just not 
fade it into that. This guy in at the bunker just left with a pin. Yeah, I didn't want to do that because that is floating with the pond. Bounce left. I don't know how much the putt the pond cuts. It's disappeared. It was rolling and it's disappeared. So that's not a, that's not a good sign. All right, got 40 yards to the pin here. What I don't want is to go underneath the ball and land in the pond just in front of us. Got quite lucky, to be honest, not to be in it in the first place, but. It could be really good. Almost dunked it. Ah, okay. 15 foot to end the day. Finish on a birdie, maybe. Good chance, that. Good chance. Really good chance. We finish it off with a birdie. <laughs> all right so there you go guys that is the end of the video hopefully you have enjoyed big thank you to all the boys for having me today mikey ben and james absolute pleasure and uh yeah plus 13 on our first attempt at breaking 80 a couple of mistakes i mean if we hadn't had the double and the triple we would have been pretty much there um obviously played really really well in fact i think i just putted really well on the front nine and kind of just fell apart on the back um but we'll go again next time if you want to see more break 80s from me then let me know down in the comment section i can bring it out next time uh if you want to see any other content from me well then just click right here